Welcome to season two of the Fit to Love podcast show. strategist and personal trainer for about 20 years and on my journey as a personal trainer I did what most trainers do I learned about the body I learned about science I'm gonna say I learned a little bit more about science because it's not something you learn in a weekend and it's not something that you just sort of understand quickly we're talking about a lot of sciences anatomy physiology biomechanics physics you have to understand physics in order to apply resistance to your body you need to know physiology to understand how your exercise is changing your body so that you know what kind of application of force that you want in order to get the results that you're looking for. But from there it gets deeper because then you have to look at the food. What's your biochemistry? What are your food sensitivities? What are you eating? How are you food combining? How's your blood sugar levels? Are you actually using the food that you eat for energy or is it getting stored as fat? Then we move into hormones. How old are you? How stressed are you? How much do you sleep? How have your hormones affected your ability to lose weight and keep it off? Then from there we start to go into the mind a little bit in terms of the mindset piece and the conscious mind versus the subconscious mind. How conscious are you? How awake are you? Are you, are you curious? Do you question your thoughts and beliefs and behaviors? Or do you just sort of do it and see what happens? Do you understand where your beliefs come from? Did you have a traumatic childhood or a traumatic upbringing or a traumatic adulthood and how all those factors play into the choices that you make because weight loss is not about diet and exercise yes you heard me right I personal trainer I'm saying to you that weight loss is not about diet and exercise it's a lot deeper than that I even got to the spiritual part yet and you may not have any interest in the spiritual part and maybe we don't even need to go there but we do need to go into your thoughts and your feelings and your beliefs and we may need to look at how you look at the world in your body because we can't separate how you think from what you do we can't separate what you believe and what you do and we can't blindly focus on calories and exercise and hope that that's going to somehow magically change the impulse and the desire that you already have inside of you weight loss is not about diet and exercise I'm a very different kind of trainer and coach and even if you're a lifer, because I have some new lifers who've been working with me, who've done every program, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig, uh, they've gone to the gym, they've had personal trainers, they've done detox programs, they've done CrossFit, they've done, you name it, they've done it. And they haven't found lasting weight loss success. If you've gone through these programs and you are now at the point where you're frustrated enough to take a little deeper dive, I invite you to give me a call. I invite you to sign up, have a consultation see where it goes it's not for the faint at heart if you're somebody who gets too uncomfortable with those kinds of conversations do not call me I'm not interested I'm interested in the integration of all the parts of your life to get you to what you really want which is to be happy to be healthy and to not have to worry struggle think about all of this stuff all the time and be overly stressed about it if you are counting calories and focused on exercise and not getting the results that you want, again, I will say it, weight loss is not about diet and exercise. So if you're ready for that journey, you're tired of doing the programs that just deal with the surface level stuff, even if you're in therapy or on a coaching program, it's time to integrate it all together because that's what creates who you are and the results that you maintain and the lifestyle that you aspire to have. I'd love to work with you.